G'day guys, welcome back. Uh, today we're looking at the Tarota drive system of our R44 helicopter, which is similar to the R22 as well. Uh, we've got a gearbox in our maintenance bay that we're going to have a look at and a bit of a discussion out here on this live aircraft as to how the transmission uh, is driven. So a couple of episodes ago, we spoke about our clutch system driving our transmission. Now we've got our engine uh, down here, which drives our lower sheave and our rubber V-belts to our upper sheave assembly. Now from our upper sheave, we have a drive shaft going forward, which powers our main rotor system and a drive shaft going through the center of our tail boom, which powers our tail rotor drive system. Now this tail rotor drive shaft uh, comes straight through the center of our tail boom, right up to the back of our boom to our tail rotor gearbox assembly. So the drive from our tail rotor drive shaft uh, coming out the center of our tail boom needs to be transferred to a 90 degree output. Now this is achieved through a series of bevel gears which we can have a look at in the maintenance bay. So as we manipulate our tail rotor pedals in the cockpit, it's going to move our pitch change rod which is connected to this bell crank here. Now this ultimately alters the pitch on our tail rotor blades allowing us to yaw the helicopter. We'll now take a closer look at our tail rotor gearbox in our maintenance bay. So just in our maintenance bay here, we've got a R44 gearbox that we've sourced as a bit of a training aid. Uh, so we'll take the opportunity to have a look at the internal workings of this gearbox now. So here we have the input to our tail rotor gearbox from our tail rotor drive system that runs up through the center of our tail boom. Now if I were to rotate where the tail rotor drive shaft inputs, you can see this bevel gear rotating. So the gearbox uh, bevel gear we just had a look at will mate internally onto this bevel drive system here, which will rotate our output shaft. Now, as we discussed uh, out in the hangar, there's a need for us to be able to change the tail rotor pitch on these tail rotor blades. Now, this is a rotating output shaft so they fit a pitch change unit onto our output shaft which slides on a bronze bush and allows us to change the pitch of our tail rotor blades through our pitch change bell crank and pitch change unit. So taking a look at our tail rotor gearbox housing now you'll notice down the bottom uh, we've got our magnetic chip detector. Now if there's any metal uh, generated within the gearbox assembly, the breakdown from gear teeth or bearings, it'll be captured in the oil uh, which will be drawn magnetically to our chip detector. Now we have an indication light in our cockpit uh, that will alert us if there are chips floating around our Toyota gearbox assembly. 